Well, hello, this is Ray Waldo, and uh, I'm going to take you on a little tour of our garden yard, and uh, and been through in a few days, a week, and things are looking a little bit different. This is a, a new bed that we just built, and uh, I like it. I think it's really nice. And we have some uh, yellow lantana lacing around it and then some pink red knockout roses around that and then the planter and I couldn't tell you what those things are in the middle but they're supposed to kind of come down. They're looking a little dry right now. I'm going to have to add some water in there. And uh, then on the sides we have uh, dwarf gardenia and these are uh, various little annuals that we have going around here. Some venta around the front edge. All of this will fill out I hope in just uh, another few weeks. And over on this side we have some calla lilies and that one's been blooming. But this one I believe today is the first day it's bloomed. And uh, so a very pretty orange bloom. Hope you can see that. Yeah. And then uh, these are just some other little plants that we have. Of course the uh, black elephant ear and uh, over on this side we have some uh, a little bed that we just started that has some of the spider flowers in the front and in the back that's some I believe that's ginger and uh, uh, that's something like that <laughs> and then we've worked this bed up a long bed here with uh, some wild uh, gladiolios and a few other things and, and uh, we've got a couple of roses that we're starting in this area here and there's one over here and a lady banks here and uh, this is an althea bush that we had out back and it wasn't doing real well there so we moved it up here and uh, it's sprouting a little bit so I'm hopeful that it will do okay. And then over on this side, we just uh, finished out some more daylilies along the driveway here and some up front all along. Now we have daylilies on this side. We haven't, uh, we've had these for a while and they're already filled out huge. And over here we have uh, some kind of a little lily that just popped out. I don't think I've seen that one bloom before. All by its lonely. <laughs> Pretty little thing. And then some more daylilies along that wall there. And up here in the front, uh, some of this stuff is not blooming real well right at this moment. Uh, there's a this is. Uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. It's real pretty though. Uh, and then our quiet little area here. That's so nice to sit out here and listen to the fountain and, and the quiet peace. Over here we have some oak leaf hydrangea and uh, it's about at its prime. It's just about done. Uh, I don't know if it'll bloom again this year or not. And of course the big spider flowers, and some of these are already taller than me. I'm six foot. Some of them are a little bit taller than me already. And some other miscellaneous flowers out here in this kidney bed. This was our first one. This is a canna lily, and it is very, very pretty. Uh, some other plants that we've added in here more recently. And this is the spider flower. They, Variously are pink to purple, and uh, the blooms just continue coming on up. Uh, it blooms pretty for a long, long time. And our gardenia bush, uh, we cut it back pretty severely. Uh, it didn't have a lot of strength to it. It was uh, the 
the leaves, I mean the branches were pretty weak. Uh, this is Mexican petunia and it has a pretty little blue purple flower. We had it blooming pretty well around the other side but it, it was in the way where it was so we moved it there and that's just a new bed that we've just started. And then these are some various little flowers. There's a very pretty, uh, I believe that's a starburst or star something Viv calls it. There's another one back behind there that hasn't bloomed yet. And then our circle bed, we're in the process of working on this one, kind of getting it in good shape. This is a pink butterfly bush, and uh, it's kind of pretty, but that's about the only thing we have in there right now. Uh, some of these other little plants, but they're not real big. This is, is uh, it's quit blooming now. This is, some people call it... Uh, uh, Confederate jasmine, others call it star jasmine. The flowers look like stars, and I'm not sure where the Confederate came from, but it's neither Confederate nor jasmine. Uh, it actually is just a, uh, an ivy, and it grows up, uh, it's probably 60, 70 feet up there in that tree, if I can get it out of the sun. You can see there, it's way on up there. And uh, both these trees, well, several of these trees, we've got it around there. And, of course, that's uh, Larry Ope around the bottom that we have it edged with. And these are all uh, azaleas that are out of their prime. And around over the bedroom side, we have uh, a purple butterfly bush, but it's finished blooming for a while. This is blue or black salvia and some roses, a couple of roses. This one's quite pretty. There's a real nice bloom on it. And uh, some other flowers. And our moms are doing extremely well. These yellow ones have just started blooming. Uh, this is just a bed of moms. All started from one little pot flower of moms. These are purple ones. They're not quite as far along, but they've been blooming for a while, and the yellow ones have just started. And around on this side, on the patio, by the way, they've done a great job of cleaning our patio today. She came out here with the water, uh, pressure washer. We've got some tomatoes. Uh, can you see that? Uh, the light is really hard to get to there. But, uh, a little patio plant and uh, some pretty nice tomatoes on there. And uh, this hyacinth, not hyacinth, uh, hibiscus is very, very pretty. A uh, sweet potato plant, and I don't know what the purple one is in the middle there. And uh, then down our walk, this is a quiet little walkway. Uh, some blue, more actually purple. Uh, uh, Got the name again. And uh, this is the same thing if you could think of that name. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is Bluebird uh, uh, Hibiscus. No, not Hibiscus. Uh, high something. <laughs> okay, I've forgotten. Here's a pretty little plant, and I don't know what it is, but uh, it's a very pretty little bloom. It's very small one by itself. Like I say, a lot of things are not blooming. It's getting pretty warm right now. Some uh, pretty day lilies and of course some lilies. Here's a, one of the nice lilies that we have. These are not doing quite as well as they did last year. Last year they just had a halo effect. There was five of them at one time. We had uh, about five of the white ones here on this one they've all gone now and uh, here is a very pretty uh, I guess that would be a lily of some sort I'm not sure and uh, some day lilies around there 
Over on this side, we had quite a few of these things, and this one's not quite as large as they were. We had, pur had purple ones and yellow ones, and they were like eight inches in diameter across. I mean, that is just huge for those things. Some more of that uh, Mexican uh, petunia, and uh, you can see the blooms on the ground, but I don't see any on the, the uh, plant, but that's what the bloom looks like. It's a pretty little bloom. It's kind of a pretty much a wildflower. Okay, and uh, then we have some. Uh, oh, looks like we actually have some berries here. This is raspberry, and uh, so they. This is their first year. Now our grapes, this is the second year on grapes, and uh, they're doing much better. I had some pretty nice grapes there, and uh, they are seeded. They may not be quite as, as easy to eat, but I'm hopeful they are quite nice flavored to be the first year. And this is another bed that we just built, and mostly these are, are annuals, uh, these little flowers here. Some pretty colored day lilies. I guess that's what they would be. Okay. Well, that's about everything that's that's in pretty bloom right now. Well, there's some vento over here. I'll show you that along the side of the house. This is a bed that we built about a year ago and put in. Maybe a year and a half, two years. Not long. But uh, it's coming along pretty nicely. All of this will be real pretty in a few years. Right now it's not quite there. This is a bleeding heart. It's just starting to bloom uh, with the red and the white. Very, very pretty. Bleeding heart. I love bleeding heart. I got some for Viv for Mother's Day about five or six years ago. Uh, probably longer than that. Uh, six or seven years ago. And uh, we've liked it ever since. Now here, the last of the things that we have is uh, some little hatchlings. There's a nest down in there. And they don't want to come out, I guess. I reckon they're asleep. Well, their mama will be a long later. Well, hope you have a good evening today.